Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we'll discuss the symptoms, causes, and diagnosis of a starter motor failure. The starter motor turns the crankshaft, which starts the engine. If this component fails, your car won't start and you'll need a tow truck. With that said, here are three symptoms of a failed starter motor. Dashboard warning lights. As we mentioned, the starter motor gets your engine running. If it's damaged, the dash lights come on when you turn the key, but the engine stays off. If you notice this, chances are the starter has failed. A clicking sound when you turn the key. You may also hear a clicking sound when you turn the key, but the engine doesn't start. This is another common symptom of a failed starter motor. Slow engine cranking. Finally, you may hear the engine cranking slowly, indicating the starter motor's struggle to spin the engine. This may be accompanied by dashboard lights and a clicking sound. Other symptoms include smoke from the starter motor when you turn the key, a burnt smell when you crank the engine, oil covering the starter. What causes the starter motor failure? Loose wiring. Loose wiring disrupts electrical currents from the battery to the starter motor. They may also cause shorts or eddy currents that affect the starter's functionality. Corroded or dirty battery connectors. The starter motor draws power from the battery. Corroded and dirty terminals interfere with the starter's power supply. Also, a weak or dead battery will cause the starter motor to fail. A worn starter motor. The starter motor wears out with age. Its components may wear out due to moisture, age, or overheating. If this happens, the starter won't perform its function. How to diagnose a failing starter motor. Test the battery. Grab a multimeter and set it to DC volts. Touch the multimeter's leads to the corresponding battery terminals. Check the reading. A healthy battery has 12.4 to 12.6 volts. If your battery is lower than 12.4 volts, charge it. Once charged, check if the issue persists. Inspect and clean the battery terminals. Open the hood and locate the car battery. Inspect the terminals for corrosion or dirt. If they're dirty, wear safety goggles and gloves to protect yourself from potential contact with acid. Disconnect the battery terminals, starting with the negative. Doing this may delete clock, radio, and seat memory presets. Once disconnected, dissolve a tablespoon of baking soda in a cup of water. Alternatively, grab a can of battery terminal cleaner if there's heavy corrosion. Pour the cleaning solution onto the corroded areas, then use a battery brush to clean the corrosion. Be gentle to avoid damaging the terminals. Once done, dry the terminals. Reconnect the terminals, starting with the positive. Check if the issue persists. Inspect the starter. Review your owner's manual to find the starter motor's location. Most starters are near the engine and transmission. You can access it by sliding under your vehicle. Check the starter's wires to ensure they are well fitted. Locate the power wire. Attach a test light to a metallic part to ground it and touch the test light to the power wire. The test light should light up, indicating the starter receives power. Disconnect the signal wire and connect a small cable to its harness. Connect the other end of this cable to your test light, then clip the test light to the negative terminal. Start your car and check if the test light illuminates. If it does, the signal wire works, suggesting the starter's internal components are damaged. Replace the starter motor. Thanks for watching.